So let's take a look at polygons and see when polygons are similar or not, and then take a look at the corresponding ratios of various parts. So let's take a look at two triangles that we're given, and we're given some information about these triangles. I want us to take a look at them and enjoy them. They're pretty. One thing that's clear is that this triangle is much larger than that triangle. That's the first thing we can see. The next thing I notice is that we're given some information. First of all, we know the lengths of all these uh, sides. That's pretty good. That's a lot of information, in fact. And we know something about the angles. Notice that, in fact, we know that angle B is congruent to angle E. They're marked that way. And angle C is congruent to angle F. What can I conclude about these triangles? Well, I can conclude that these triangles are, in fact, similar by angle-angle, by the angle-angle theorem, right? So by the angle-angle uh, theorem, or something that's called the third angle theorem, we know that since these two angles have the same measure, and these two angles have the same measure, then the third, the third angle, in fact, must be the same, and therefore by angle, 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 these two triangles are similar. Neat. Okay, now that we know that they're similar and we identified the uh, congruent angles, let's take a look at the ratio of corresponding sides, see what that looks like. So, for example, let's take a look at the side opposite the, the double angle here, which is 6, and compare that, put that in a ratio with the side here, which is three. So those are corresponding sides. And so I see six over three, which you see equals two. So that's that particular ratio. How about the side that's opposite the unmarked angle? That's eight here. The side opposite the unmarked angle here is four. So I look at, I'm always looking at big to small here. So big is to small. So that's eight is to four. And we see again 2. And finally, the side opposite the one marked angle, we see 3. And here we see 1.5. So I see 3 is to 1.5. And that equals 2. So notice that, in fact, in each case, the ratio of corresponding uh, side lengths of these two similar triangles, actually the ratios all agree. And that's not a coincidence. That's, in fact, a fact. That if we have similar objects, then, in fact, the ratio of the similar parts, uh, corresponding parts, will all be the same. Pretty cool. Anyway, uh, similar objects, ratios, that are all interconnected.